So my husband went to the grocery store the other day. We are creatures of habit. We get basically the exact same snacks every single time that we go. So whenever he goes, I always pretty much know exactly how much he's going to spend because we get the same snacks. So normally we spend around $57 on the snacks that we purchase, but this time it was close to $100. When he came home, I asked him, what did you do differently? But he hadn't done anything differently, it's just, Prices are up. Prices are way up because of inflation. If you've never heard of the term inflation, inflation is the decrease in the purchasing power of money due to the increase in the prices of goods and services. So in simple terms, it costs way more money this year to buy the exact same products that you did last year. This year, the inflation rate rose up to 7%, but the average income only increased 4.7%. So when all of the prices are up, of course, I always wonder, how do you budget in times of inflation? When everything costs so much more than it used to cost, how do you budget for it? So let's talk about four things that you can do to help budget during a time of rising prices. The first thing that you can do is streamline your mortgage. Your home or shelter is usually the highest line item on your budget. So when inflation is high, this is usually the first line item that you could look at. When the rising inflation rate is also accompanied by lower interest rates, you could actually save money by refinancing your home. How do you know if this makes sense for you? The first thing that you need to do is to look and see what you could possibly qualify for. This will more than likely be based on your income and your credit score. Once you know what you could possibly qualify for, then you're going to compare it to your current interest rate. Make sure that you also consider how long you're going to stay in your home and if you're able to recoup what you're going to pay in closing costs. Now, if you're not in a position to refinance your home or it's going to be too expensive for you to actually move, you don't have the cash on hand, you may also want to look at your mortgage insurance or your rental insurance to see if it's possible to decrease those items. The second item that you want to look at in times of inflation is your car insurance. Car insurance is one of those things that we usually don't think about on a day-to-day -day basis. We've usually been with the exact same company for a long period of time, so we will stick with that company. However, there are so many additional perks and advantages to shopping around for your car insurance, so you wanna make sure that you're looking at these different things to make sure that you're getting the best deal out there for you. Does your car insurance company have a safe driving discount? If so, are you a part of that program? How long have you been with the current company that you're with and if it has been over five years can you get a longevity discount? What is your current deductible? If it is a lower amount, could you possibly raise it? Make sure that you have that money in savings. That way you can save on having a higher deductible. And push come the shove, can you shop around with other car insurance companies? Sometimes it's better to just switch over and get a better deal. So check out all of these things when it comes down to your car insurance to make sure that you are covered but still getting the best bang for your buck. The third area that I'm going to talk about is probably the second highest line item on your budget, which is your food. Grocery store prices rose by 5.4% between October 2020 and October 2021. And we have definitely been feeling it within our budget. So this means that if you are budgeting for $50 or $100 for your grocery budget, you could be possibly having to do double that by the time we got to 2022. So I wanted to give you some tips that will help you overall with your grocery bill. The first thing that you need to do is look at buying generic as much as possible. We usually get attached to a brand, but most of the time the generic will be the exact same product as the branded item that we have purchased in the past. The reason we buy most brands is just because we're used to purchasing them, but it's not because they taste any different from the generic brand. So this is the time to experiment. If there is a generic brand for the item that you normally get at the grocery store, try it out. See if there's something else that's out there that could possibly substitute for the brand that you normally purchase. The next thing that you wanna do is try and buy in bulk as much as you possibly can. Many times you can get major discounts if you are able to buy multiple of the same item. If you're able to go to a Costco or a Sam's, one of the places where you can buy 
buy in bulk, then you may want to try it out and compare prices. A lot of times you can save way more money if you buy an item in bulk. You can also look online and check out store flyers to see if they have any sales or any discounts or any particular items that you may want to purchase. And when it comes down to meal planning, try and plan for the same ingredients to make multiple meals. Pinterest is the best place for this where you can put in different ingredients that you have and look for different options of different meals that you could create with those exact same ingredients. This is a major cost saver because now you're creating multiple things with the exact same ingredients and saving on those ingredients at the store. You don't have to purchase as many groceries. And since poultry is one of the most expensive things at the grocery store, you could also look for meatless options. There are a bunch of meatless meals out there that you may be able to substitute in one or two days out of the week so that you can cut down on how much poultry you have to purchase. And the fourth area in our budget that you need to look at during times of inflation is our energy. Completing an energy audit will help you during times of inflation to make sure that you're not using too much energy and doing little things to help your energy bill. One thing that we like to do is to use energy efficient light bulbs. So energy efficient light bulbs cost a little bit more when you're at the grocery store. However, they last much longer and they save so much on your energy bill. You also may want to make it a habit to set an alarm and check all of the areas around your house. I know I have small kids and many times they will leave rooms and just leave lights on all day. And if I don't walk around the house and pay attention, then a lot of times those lights will just stay on. So I really try and make it a habit to just go through the house at different times of the day and turn off the lights. You should also unplug all of the appliances that you aren't currently using so that they aren't using energy throughout the course of the day. And also you can set your thermostat to turn to a certain temperature or to turn off while you're gone throughout the day. Having this setting on our thermostat has saved us hundreds of dollars. So guys, those are my four tips to help you with your budget during the times of inflation. This is the highest inflation has been in over 40 years. This hasn't happened since 1981, but I'm hoping that these tips will help you as you're trying to budget and work through this season. If you want more tips on how to organize your life and money, make sure that you join me over on The Organize You. The Organize University is a monthly membership where I jump on with you every single week and we do classes where we talk about how to get organized, how to set up your budget, and how to save more money. Along with the weekly classes, we also have a private podcast, we also have a book club, and you get access to all of my planner downloads. If you want more information, make sure that you check out the description box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.